Welcome YouTubers. I'm going to show you how to build a simple DIY battery shelf to store DeWalt 20 volt max and Milwaukee M18 batteries. You may have seen my one minute YouTube short for this project, but shorts are kind of like reading a recipe before you start cooking. In this video, I'll go into more detail and provide some additional tips. Each shelf can hold up to 10 DeWalt 20 volt or Milwaukee M18 high output batteries, and I purchased the battery holders from Amazon. <laughs> they even came with screws. The holders are inexpensive, 20 holders for $17, and can accommodate both DeWalt or Milwaukee batteries regardless of whether they're yellow or red. I gave myself a two hour time limit to build the shelves and only use scrap lumber from around the shop. So they're more functional than flawless and fabulous in their appearance. Given the weight of the batteries, the shelves are intended to be mounted to studs, usually 16 inches on center. No worries though, the mounting brackets provide some wiggle room. Here's a list of materials you'll need to build one shelf. Keep in mind the lumber is listed in nominal sizes, so a one by four is really three quarters by three and a half, and a two by four is really one and a half by three and a half. These are the tools I used, and it looks like a lot, but you can also be creative. For example, instead of a miter saw to make the dado guts, you can use a router or even a table saw. Let's get started. Grab a piece of 1x4 that's at least 19 and 7 16 and that's for one shelf. Start by marking a line 1 and 9 16 from the bottom edge. Mark 2.5 inches from the right side, then every 3.5 inches. 3.5 inches between each mount will allow storage of larger high output batteries. Turn over the board, then flip it around. Mark a line again, 1 and 9 16 from the bottom edge. Mark 3 inches from the left, then every 3 and a half inches. And you start at 3 inches on this side as to avoid screws on both sides from meeting in the middle. Pre-drill shallow holes on both sides where marked, and don't go all the way through. It's okay if you do on a few holes, but try to avoid it. Turn the piece over and pre-drill shallow holes at the marks on the other side. Make the cuts and remove any scrap. Now to attach the battery holders. These holders need to be drilled out with a 5 seconds inch drill bit, but hey, they were cheap. There's a link in the information section below for the exact holder, but no pressure. I don't participate in any affiliate program at the moment, so I don't get paid if you click. For each holder, screw in the back, which is the centered screw, then pre-drill and secure the other two bottom screws. Again, I like these holders because they're not only inexpensive, but they're only three holes versus some which are four. Even better, the colors don't matter. Both colors can handle DeWalt 20 volt and Milwaukee M18 batteries. For the side brackets, grab a piece of two x four, at least 11 and 9 16 inches long and mark it as noted. The blue marks are going to be dados, which are just grooves the shelf fits into and the pink lines will be through cuts. I factored in the blade curve for that center cut line, but if your blade is more than a sixteenth of an inch thick, you'll come up a little short. To keep the stock long and my hands away from the blade, I make the dados first. I use backing board to keep the board forward and set the miter stop to cut only about a half inch deep. To make dados on the sliding miter, I run the blade between the lines marked on the board until there's minimal material to chisel out later. Now make the cuts and remove any scrap. Oh, and always be sure to line up cuts so your finished pieces are on the correct side of the blade. Chisel out and file down any rough spots in the dado joints to make them as clean as possible. Pre-drilled two holes for the center of each dado, flip the pieces over and add a countersink to the holes. Now 
how to put the shelves into the brackets, pre-drill holes through the sides and into the shelf with a 1 8 inch bit and then attach with 1 and 5 8 inch screws. And be sure to do both sides. At this point, it's important to mark the orientation of all the pieces so you know which is left, right, center, up, and down. And now to remove those screws I just told you to put in. It just makes things easier later. For the wall mounts, grab a 1x4 and cut two pieces 8 inches long. Mark one and a quarter inches from each end. I had two separate pieces of stock, but you can take it from one if you've got it. Just remember to compensate for blade curve. Then use a clamp to clamp the brackets one and a quarter inches from the top of the mount and along the outer edge, keeping in mind the orientation of the shelf. <laughs> Be sure the dados are facing inward. Pre-drill with a countersink bit through the back of the mounts and into the brackets and attach with two and a half inch screws. If you don't countersink the screw heads, the shelf isn't going to sit flush to the wall. All right, now to put it up. Use a stud finder to mark the center of the studs, then hold up a mounting bracket where you want it and determine where the screws need to be to penetrate a stud. Pre-drill at least one hole with a countersink bit and screw it in with a three inch screw. I marked both brackets so I could pre-drill them at the same time. Level the bracket and then pre-drill a second hole and put in another three inch screw. Insert the shelf into the dado, hold it up with the second bracket, put a level on it, Mark two holes on the bracket, pre-drill and countersink, then screw it in with three inch screws. I was building three shelves during my two hour build-a-thon with the middle shelf being miscellaneous storage. So you're seeing the installation of the last shelf here. Now for those one and five eighths inch screws that were removed before, you're gonna put them back in that'll stabilize the shelf and prevent it from falling out. And we're done. Now for the fun part. Admire your work and load it up. Oh, yeah. If you found this video helpful or you'd like to see more simple DIY woodworking projects, please let me know by liking the video and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.